What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing the WWE Elite Survivor Series War Games 2024 Adam Pearce Build a Figure set. Now, we do feature the Bushwhackers return to the Elite line, a Sami Zayn attire we've been waiting on forever, and a very unique look for Kevin Owens, which I love. Big fan of KO. So, this should be fun, man. We do have Adam Pearce as the Build a Figure, which is a very good Build a Figure. I know a lot of people have been wanting him in the collection, especially for your modern shelves, and it's a good suited figure to have anyway. But if you guys want to grab these figures, you already like what you see. Go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%, but we're going to review this entire our wave here today, man. We do have both Bushwhackers, and I know they're pretty unique, right? I mean, one of the strangest Survivor Series teams of all time with the Bushwhackers right here. Now all we need is men on a mission and they're in their clown makeup and we'll have it all right there, but they're the two figures here. Essentially, I mean, pretty much the same exact figure. You have some differences, which we'll get into, but they look kind of cool there. A very unique look. I, I like weird stuff in the line, but you have the clown makeup on the sides there, looking pretty freaky if you don't, you know what I'm saying? A bit freaky, you know what I'm saying? I like a little freaky. Alright, we'll move on. But we have both Bushwhackers there, and then we also have Sami Zayn in the honorary Oost gear or the War Games blood attire to fit in with the rest of our bloodline, of course. We are going to take a look at what they all look like up next to each other, but this is uh, this is a figure we've been waiting on. Got Adam Pearce right down there. Every time I see this, man, it reminds me of Family Feud circa 2006 through like 2016. I don't know, it's like something about this looks like the name tags and the Family Feud that used to play on the Game Show Network. Get out of my face, I know it looks like it. But we do have our honorary Oost, and then we have my man Kevin Owens over here, which is a very unique piece in the Dusty Rhodes tribute shirt with the pants. Definitely one that you wouldn't expect, but we're adding to the Kevin Owens lore for our figure collections here today, and I'm excited for it. Nonetheless, what we're going to do is crack all four figures out of their packaging, break down each and every one of them with their accessories, and then at the end, we're going to rank the set, and we're going to build the Adam Pearce figure and take a look at what his figure is all about. So that should be fun as well, man. But let's shut the hell up. Let's crack all four figures out of the packaging and find out what our Survivor Series Build-A-Figure Adam Pearce wave for this year is all about. So here's the full War Game Survivor Series set out of the packaging. You can see the myriad of pieces of Adam Pearce strolled out. I don't know what the hell I'm saying there. But we are going to break down this wave in its entirety. Now the Bushwhackers are essentially the same figure. We're going to review those back to back and we're going to review their accessories together. So what we're going to do is dive into their accessories first and their figures and then we'll split off and take care of Kevin Owens' accessories and his figure, finish it up with Sami Zayn, and then we will build the Adam Pearce figure and then rank the full set from my least favorite to my favorite out of everything, and wrap everything up in a nice little bow for you. But with that being said, man, let's shut the hell up. Let's get into it. Let's break down the full Survivor Series Elite Wave and find out what this set is all about, and if indeed they're worth a damn with our Adam Pierce Build-A-Figure. So for the Bushworkers accessories, they get pretty much the exact same stuff, and I'll break down who comes with what and what comes with who. But to knock this out of the park, Bushwhacker Luke does come with the Adam Pierce head sculpt, and we'll get into that when we build the figure, but Bushwhacker Butch comes with the suit arms. So the arms come with Butch, and the head sculpt of Adam Pierce comes with Luke. Luke. And then Butch also comes with pointer hand, interchangeable hands for the Adam Pierce figure as well. But outside of Build-A-Figure pieces, they do each come with two interchangeable head sculpts. You have the clown makeup head sculpts, and then you have their regular non-face painted head sculpts. Now these are certainly a moment in time, something I don't think I would have expected to get out of Mattel, but here they are, man. I mean, here they are, and it's cool because just like Doink, they actually have the removable hair piece. And so you can remove the hair piece if you want, but I like that they have this cowl style deal that is sculpted onto the figure, and the face paint looks pretty good for the most part. We have seen this with the Elite 34 doink and other things, the Ultimate Edition. But it's still pretty cool. You got the mouth open right there. This is the Luke head sculpt. And then we do have the unpainted Luke head sculpt, which is pretty good. It looks like they use the same base for these. But this is a true effects version, which I don't think we've ever seen from Mattel for Bushwhacker Luke. I think the last time we saw the Bushwhackers was in a two-pack or a battle pack. which was in the same wave as the Austin and Vince two-pack, which was a very long time ago. I mean, I'm talking 2016, 2017, somewhere like that. So it's been a while since we've seen Bushwhackers, but they are finally back. And both of these head sculpts look pretty good for the the most part out of, uh, you know, what you would expect. And then on Bushwhacker Butches, you do get this really sweet uh, head sculpt that he's like ye yelling or laughing and like making a smiling face, which I think is cool. And it also pops off the hair piece. So you can have the wig on there or not on there, but it's still... Very cool because I like this expression so much and the paint apps is so clean. They did a really great job here. The nose and everything looks great. And I like that he's making a completely different face sculpt than he is, or the facial expression I should say, than he is in his regular edition head sculpt. Now, this does look to be the same head sculpt we've seen. I can't remember off the top of my dome. I have owned the Bushwhackers before, but I think I sold them back in the day when I sold off a bunch of legends for my collection. But it is crazy to see, but I like the paint apps and everything. He kind of looks like damn riffraff. Is that what he, that's kind of what he looks like. 
like. This head sculpt looks like Riff Raff or something. But both of these look pretty good as well. But outside of our interchangeable head sculpts, both guys come with a set of mic holding hands, and both guys come with a set of fists to, of course, beat the hell out of people. So getting into the Bushwhacker, starting out with Butch, he does have his own unique head sculpt here, but the singlet and these legs are not new. This is the same exact Elite mold they used on their Elite 2-pack, their Legends Elite 2-pack, I think it was. And he has all of his tattoos here. You got the right arm tat there, you have the left arm tat there. But I always like this as a base for like a Spike Dudley or something. I always thought that this would look good for that, but you do have the nice camo pattern. I love that they painted the bell buckle. That's a nice detail. And I'm happy to report that these are not pinless legs, so the articulation's quite smooth, and the camo pattern is very clean, and I like these boots, and they even got the damn eyelets right there. They actually painted those. That's a nice detail, so they did a pretty good job on these bushwhackers. I want to bring Luke in right here so you can see the difference between the two there, obviously. They're pretty much the exact same body mold, but Luke da is sporting some unique tattoos, so he actually is more tatted up than Butch over there, so that's cool. You know, old school tattoos going on, but he does have the same singlet torso, and he does have the same camo pants, all the same skull. Now, like I was saying, these guys can pose around pretty good. You get a pretty decent kick forward there, but look at that, man. Just very, you know, not the best knee joints of all time, but God, they're certainly better than the damn pinless joints that are super tight, but the waist is tight, everything's tight. I remember these feel a lot better than those Legends figures, and it's probably just because they have kind of perfected making these figures now. You know, for the most part, they've done such a good job of improving over the years, but I remember those figures being very stiff too and having bow legs, but these don't have that, man. These actually feel really, really smooth and clean, and not like they're going to snap in half. So if you guys want some Bushwhackers, I would replace your Legends ones with these. I think they're the exact same attire as well. And I, unfortunately don't have those guys in my collection anymore, so I can't do a comparison, but one thing I did want to do is I wanted to put these guys in clown makeup and then bring in the ultimate doink just to kind of, I don't know, just see what it looks like, I guess. So here's our Mattel Creations crowdfunding new gen arena doink ultimate edition figure up next to our bushwhackers, and just because they're in clown makeup, wanted to put them all up here just to see what they look like, looking like a damn faction about to come down the street on Halloween and kill you. But yeah, we do have our clown bushwhackers, and we have our clown ultimate edition doink. Seemingly enough, Kevin Owens' accessories leaves a lot to be desired, but you do get interchangeable hands and the Adam Pierce torso. So not a lot going on, obviously, because with Kevin Owens, it's basically nothing. But you do get Mike holding hands with the white hand tape and all of his tattoos on there, which is good. And it's Kevin Owens, so you know he's got to fight people. Fight Owens, fight. He's got the tattoos on there. A little bit of a, eh, it's not the biggest deal. But white peg, white fist, beating the hell out of people. So getting into Kevin at the top of the head sculpt, we have seen this head sculpt on the Elite 101 Kevin Owens, I think it was, which isn't my favorite, but I don't, it's not despisable. It's just not my favorite. I don't personally like it that much, but... But he is wearing the Dusty Rhodes t-shirt here with a bionic elbow shirt, which is very cool. I remember the Survivor Series. It was a very epic moment. I do think his arms are a bit jacked, man. I talk about this very often, especially with KO, because he's the kind of guy that they need to really look into, because this arm mold is not appropriate for him or Mankind, Mick Foley, Sandman, guys like that. We need a fatter arm mold that's not completely jacked and juiced ripped with veins and everything like this and all these cuts and stuff, man. We need some, like, puffy natural-looking arms. We don't need this super jacked arms for guys like Kevin Owens, but he does have all of his updated tattoos in there, which are cool. I like it. He's got the big old elbow pad on there, which I think is a great nod, and he has the white wrist tape and hand tape, which is great. Can slide this off, of course. It's very big. It's a massive elbow pad, which is cool, but you could take that off if you wanted to. It's kind of stuck for me now, but you can uh, pull that off there and reveal the tattoos underneath. Got the gorilla tattoo right there, panda tattoo on the inner bicep, which is cool. And then onto the legs, I mean, this is essentially a Kevin Owens crotch. I think this is the Kevin Owens crotch that came on on the Epic Moments Festival of Friendship, and then these legs are just some standard jean legs in this charcoal gray color, so it's not anything to write home about, but it's the same damn leg mold that they used on the Monday Night Wars Austin and stuff, where he has pinless joints, and they're gonna be the stiffest damn thing you've ever seen. So, he can kick forward very well. Like, look at that kick forward right there, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the legs are on ball joints, but his legs have pinless joints, so the double-jointed knee is gonna be just atrocious, and he doesn't really have an ab crunch because of this shirt mold. He has kind of an Ultimate Edition torso, he just doesn't have butterfly joints, but I'm enjoying the figure. I do like this. It's a moment in time, and it could work as a street gear. You could remove this shirt, put some damn... There's some different things you can play around with, but I actually like this Kevin Owens figure. Let's get into some Kevin Owens figure comparisons. So for your Kevin Owens figure comparisons, we have the Elite 101 on the far left. We have the Ultimate Edition here, which was a hella disappointment. The new Survivor Series, the Festival of Friendship Epic Moments Kevin Owens, and the last year's Survivor Series Kevin Owens. And yeah, you know, you make your pick. I mean, we do have a brand new Kevin Owens in jeans here, which I think is cool, and I think it's a nice update to this one. Got more tattoos, got double-jointed arms, and the formula actually feels quite nice. It's just those stiff-ass legs, man. 
man. God, so stiff. I feel like they could snap it in. You know what? New elite legs or new pinless legs are the are the new basic 2017 to 2023 leg mold. You know what I mean? They're that stiff. They are they are just as stiff as those old basics were, and that is sickening to me. But take your pick here. I like this Kevin Owens figure. I've actually enjoyed it quite a bit. All things considered, with the damn stiff legs. And then last but not least, we have Sami Zayn's accessories. Now he does come with the legs of the Adam Pierce figure, and this is the new Mr. Perfect Build a Figure legs, the more newer mold there or the Muhammad Ali style legs. So we'll build him at the end and we will get into the Adam Pierce figure review of course at the end after we cover Sami Zayn and we'll build this guy. But as far as Sami Zayn's accessories are concerned we do get the red honorary Oosh shirt here which looks good. It's got the SZ on there. All the different stuff. The fade's a bit weird there. It just kind of cropped off. It's not really a fade or anything but it looks fine. It looks fine. You do have the Velcro on the back. Same color we saw on the We The One shirts from the Usos and Solo Sokoa but it's a nice shirt. Very nice shirt and I know a lot of people have been waiting on this gear for a long time and it it took long enough, but we finally have it in here to complete that War Games or that Bloodline in the all red gear. But outside of the cloth goods and the Adam Pierce build a figure piece, you do get Mike holding hands that do have the white hand tape and the white pegs. And much like his buddy Kevin Owens, he likes to fight, so he does have the fists with the white pegs and white hand tape as well because he likes to beat the hell out of people. So getting into Sami Zayn, I've said it before, but the head sculpt reminds me of the homeless guy on Dexter's Lab. I don't know anybody getting that reference or watched Dexter's Lab growing up. Well, you had the best childhood of all time. But this did come on the Ultimate Edition. It's the smiling head sculpt. I don't hate it or anything, but it is there. I do hate that they don't include the chest hair, man. I really wish they'd include the chest hair on the Sami Zayn Elites. They, it just should be a staple. Even if it's just some stubble here or something, man, they gotta include that, man. He's a hairy guy, you know? You gotta throw it in there. He does have the standard arm mold, white tape, nothing going on there, but the big seller of this figure, it's essentially a repaint of the Elite 102 and Elite 106 versions of Sami Zayn. So you're getting the same baggy leg mold. It does say honorary down the leg there, which is pretty cool. It lines up a little bit off kilter there, but nothing to write home about. The legs look pretty good there. You have the black inseams and everything, and it's pretty good for the most part. I mean, it is just a repaint, but he does have the tall boots in there with the white and black. I don't know if this man's ever bought new boots. He's had the same damn boots for like six years, and he just wears the same ones over and over again. But, you know, it is there. Now, the articulation on this guy is nothing to write home about. He is pretty tight, though, in my ab crunch right there. Standard waist, and everything up here is buttery smooth. I don't feel any tightness. It's your standard WWE Elite. But the legs down here you know, you're not really going to be able to get that Haluva kick, but he can kick for pretty good. You just want to be careful with that. It is one of those that kind of locks in place, if you will. And his split is okay. He has very baggy pants, so the split's not the best. I don't know if you're doing that many splits, but you know what I mean. Um, double jointed knees are nice because he doesn't have pinless joints, so, you know, that's going to be very nice as well. He does have the boots swivel and everything. I really wish that they would just give... They make his boots too long. His boots are not this damn long. They're giving him the, like, macho man height when they're supposed to be the Randy Orton height or the, hell, the, even the Kevin Owens height. They're not supposed to be this damn tall, but it's not the biggest deal of all time, but it's certainly something that I point out in all the different videos. Before your Sami Zayn figure comparisons... So for your Sami Zayn figure comparisons, we do have the Elite 102 from his match with Johnny Knoxville, the Survivor Series Elite here, the Ultimate Edition that just recently released, and the Elite 106, which all three of the... I mean, really, all four of these are pretty modern. And for the most part, Sami Zayn was a huge part of WWE television there for that year long, or over a year long, really. Just entire bloodline and honorary Ooze storyline that was so captivating, but it makes sense to have all these figures of him. We got a lot of basics and stuff, but yeah, I think if you want to complete that bloodline Survivor Series look or War Games look, you have to pick this figure up. But if you only care about the Sami Zayn, well, it's probably a pass unless you just really want that definitive Sami Zayn in the bloodline look, because here he's by himself battling the Usos. Here he's by himself battling Johnny Knoxville before he even got into that whole thing, and then here he is on his own again. So, this is your definitive War Games Bloodline Sami Zayn figure. So, and for your Bloodline figure comparisons, here we have the new Survivor Series War Games Sami Zayn up next to the Usos from Elite 106, the Roman Reigns Ultimate Edition, and the Elite 107 Solo Sokoa figure. And it's kind of sad, but this shish feels like it was forever ago, man. Does it not seem like this? This feels like ancient history that I'm looking at right now. God, that's so damn sad. I was front row at the Royal Rumble when Sami Zayn turned on Roman Reigns. Just, oh, God. Alright man, it is time to finally build our Adam Pierce. Now on paper, this figure looks immaculate. Now will it be good? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today, man. So first of all, I wanna discuss 
what each figure comes with. So the Bushwhackers, Luke comes with the head sculpt, and Butch comes with the arms, and then Kevin Owens comes with a torso, and Sami Zayn comes with the legs, if you guys are wondering. But what we're going to do is take this right here, and this may be a good base for another Cody Rhodes in suit, man. You know, I'd be building Cody Rhodes in suits. Why didn't that click in? Damn. I've been on a good streak. All right, I got it right there, and then we're going to take our right arm, shove that into there right there, and then shove this into there right there, and then plop on our Adam Pierce head sculpt. Now, what's cool is you could probably put some Brother Love glasses on there or something if you wanted to, but at the top of the head sculpt, man, damn, what a good lightness. Looks just like Adam Pierce. I think the beard looks good. The lightness is good. I like the light bluish purple shirt with the purple tie. Gray suit looks good. I will say, these new builder figures, man, they're stiff as all hell, man. God, we gotta get away from this stiffness. I mean, good Jesus. But it is kind of like your standard suit, double jointed arms, standard suit mold right there, and then it is those Mr. Perfect style legs, which are big, and you got the gray going through. Black loafers in there, nothing to, you know, nothing to write home about. Now, as far as articulation, it can kick forward, like, very haphazardly. And then those knees, man. I know that I talk about it a lot, but it's a problem. The the knee, the pinless legs and joints on these figures are a problem. I hate how clicky it sounds, but I mean, you are getting like good articulation of the rest of the figure. And I mean, it's a good standard Adam Pierce. It does it like I think he looks good. I think he scales well too. I mean, that's pretty good for the most part. I'd say that that adds up. I don't think he's very short, so that that looks pretty good to me. I think he's six two, six three. I think so. I could be wrong. He could be six four. I hell, I have, I should have Googled it. I guess, but this Adam Pierce figure is pretty solid. I mean, it is just a suited body. It's not gonna shatter the stratosphere, but it's certainly a figure we need in our collections and it's a new suited body if you don't care about Adam Pierce, You could put somebody else in this, but I think they nailed the likeness on this guy. But let's shut the hell up and rank this set from worst to best. Now, just because a figure comes in at the bottom of the ranking doesn't mean that it doesn't have any good things about it whatsoever. And just because a figure's number one doesn't mean that it's perfect, but excitement level for the figure, execution, execution of details, likeness to the character on TV, posability, all these different things come into account when ranking this set. But let's get into it, man. Starting out at the bottom, I went with Bushwhacker Luke, and the reason Luke is below Butch is going to be because of the head sculpts. I really like the expressive head sculpt on Butch, so I went ahead and put Butch above Luke. And these just guys, these aren't guys that are my cup of tea, right? I think that I've never been a big fan of either of the guys, so I can't really... I wasn't that excited for these figures. I am happy to have them back in the line to get updated versions of them, but I think I'd rather have the rest of the figures in the set. That's just me personally. Next is kind of difficult, but I went with the Kevin Owens. I really wanted to put Sami Zayn here, but at the end of the day, the stiffness in Kevin's legs kind of threw me off a little bit, and it kind of put me off. And we've been waiting on this Sami Zayn for so damn long, so he had to come in as the best figure out of the set. Been waiting on the War Games gear for a long time, but number one is going to be the suited build a figure Adam Pierce, and that is because, like Sami Zayn in the War Games gear, we've been waiting on that Adam Pierce for a long time. We've been waiting on an Adam Pierce figure. It's a suited body, which means that it's going to be aesthetically nice. It is pretty damn stiff as well, but hopefully over time that that is going to change itself. But this is pretty much my ranking of this set, man. I don't think it's the greatest set of all time, but I do like the Adam Pierce figure, and I think it is worth the pickup if you want to build that. But not the most sought-after line of all time of figures, but you could be the judge down in the comment section below. I'd like to know where you guys stand on all these figures, man. I'd really appreciate it. Leave me all of your thoughts down in the comment section below, but I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's video of our WWE Elite Survivor Series 2025 series Adam Pierce Build-A-Figure set. I think it's 2025, or is it 2024? I don't remember. I want to say it's 2025, but I don't... No, maybe it is 2024. Who cares? Who cares? I don't, I don't care. Maybe it is 2024. Regardless of the fact, huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate all those fellas over there. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support, as always. Appreciate all you fellas over there, man. You guys are absolutely goaded. Hopefully, San Diego Comic-Con will be a blast this week. Going to be flying out there and hope to see some of you guys over there. Also, I forgot to mention, no We The Ones hand with Sami Zayn feels like a missed opportunity. You couldn't put a pointer finger with the white hand tape on there? Like, that's a miss. They should have included that for sure. 1,000% should have included that. But anyways, I'm getting the hell out, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.